How's it going, my peoples? Got another banger for you guys. Installing another set of lights from Lining Trends. This is going to be the fog light uh, uh, covers. Basically, there's a cover. I was going to do the halo things, but I don't have it on here, so it's going to look off. So, I'm only doing the, uh, and I'm going to be different from everybody. So, I'm installing the cover, the lights for the cover, waterproof and everything. All right. My next uh, mission is, I haven't seen no videos of how to remove this at all. I've been trying to look, nobody has it, and they don't even show none of this. And I don't even think anybody has this, so I might be the first one, possibly, because I haven't seen one on YouTube. I might be the first one installing this. So, yeah, so I was looking everywhere, I couldn't find nothing. All I see is people removing that, the fog light which is hella hard for the scat packs. You gotta remove basically the whole hub from the back. You can't get it from the front. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. Be gentle and be very, very, very safe. You don't wanna scratch your paint. So basically it's intact, right? I came in here like that. So boom, wiggled it, wiggled it. Enough room for me to get my finger in. When I started getting finger, I started getting a little wiggle. I kind of went in there and pressed it pretty hard. Pow! You see that? It has clips. I looked on Amazon and I was looking at headlight cover, I mean, uh, fog light covers, and I noticed that on the pictures they got clips in the back. Obviously, you can get it from the front or back. So I started going in, boom, 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 clip. So this is how you remove it, just so you know. All right? Now, I can install my lights, which is gonna be like this. Right? It's gonna be like that. It's gonna be looking fire, man. Thank you so much, Lion Trans, for inventing this. And I don't know if anyone has it out there. I'm not sure. Uh, I mean, I've seen it on Lion Trans. Somebody has it on the, on the picture. But I haven't seen no video of someone actually installing this. So. There you have it. So I'm going to show the video of uh, my next clips on how to install it. Thank you so much. And uh, remember, subscribe, like, comment, share it. If uh, not, if you're trying to do this right here, add like lights to your car, in addition especially to the scat packs uh, from 15 to 20, uh, Hellcats and all, it's the way to go. Okay, your next step, you want to get some little 3M tape. These already come with 3M tape, but I want to have it just to make sure it's a secure hole, just like I did to the snorkel lights. I did a 3M tape underneath, and then I did the adhesive for extra bonds. All right, so I hit it with the 3M tape around. You don't have to make it all cute and all, but just make it some nice. Just like that. All right, so we got it like that. Press down for a good while. I had to open it up a little bit just to get it all stretched up. Pretty much it's gonna go like this. Clip on, right? There's no insert right here. So you wanna hit this to the top of that and work some magic from on top. It's gonna be like, damn, that's crazy already. So yeah, let me uh, put everything through the top and start wiring. All right, so my phone died, so I ended up going onto this side. I did the exact same thing, pulled it clip by clip, slowly came off, put three on tip. I gotta put the adhesive and then the snorkel light. So with this one's gonna be, kind of, oh man, it's gonna be a little bit difficult. Right, you're gonna go through that one hole. I got lucky. As soon as I pushed up, look what came out. A little snake. So I'm gonna show you the driver's side. It's pretty much assembly. You're gonna go through that one hole.
And we're gonna come out. Where's it at? Where you at? It's right there. Right there. So pretty much you're gonna grab it. You're gonna get um, this part right here. And then this is gonna be your connector to your controller. And then this right here, you got enough, a lot of wire you could wiggle around to maneuver to there. Um, these are your, uh, you you, mu you have to ground your black. This is your amber lights. Um, if you want to go with your, uh, with your, when you're on your, when you hit your blinkers, but uh, I don't have none of these like that, which is very easy to install, but I'm not gonna do that. Um, so I'm just gonna hook up my black right there, snip the yellow and uh, connect it. And you must, if you have a JLT or I mean any intake or anything like that, uh, remove it so you get all this space. I'm gonna hook it up right now. All right, so there you have it. Got that JLT. I took off the other one, the racing one, because it's dirty, so I gotta clean it. Now, um, I brought it down through there, connected it. I got the other one that I brought through this tank. It just kind of like snake it up and then connect it. I still gotta clean this up a little bit. Grounded it and uh, connected it like so. So now, just, uh, we're gonna see how it looks. What y'all think? I might be the first one with a video. Ooh, check that out though. Ooh. Well, yep, there you guys have it. That's how to install the fog light um, outline from Lightning Trends. Um, and how to remove the fog light panel that there's no videos about. And it's waterproof, so we don't have to worry about the rain or nothing. Tell me what you guys think, man. Remember, comment down below, subscribe, share it, let everybody know. Let Lightning Trends know what's up. And uh, yeah, it's the reason why your boy sponsored. We got some underglow coming in next, and this car's gonna be ready. What y'all think? Man, this is crazy. More like a boat out of water. <laughs>